So, printing on laptops seems really simple, but there's some challenges. And so, uh, we're going to show you today how we uh, got this onto here. We're going to show you here now how we're going to print the film for the, the DTF, UV DTF. As you see, I blocked off the vacuum bed here. This is the, uh, the Expert Jet 661 from Muto, and it has a it comes standard with a vacuum bed. And so I've, I've blocked off an area that's basically the size of my sheet. You know, we could go either direction. This will actually hold two sheets this direction, so you could actually have uh, two set up, so you could have to do two on here. But we're just gonna do one today for the video's sake. I'm gonna go ahead and set that in the corner. And what I'm gonna do now is I come over here, and while the lid is up, if I hit this, see the number here advancing, I'm actually increasing the vacuum, the vacuum drawdown. And the reason that I actually taped off this other area, this is a removable white vinyl. The reason I actually taped all that off was, as you can see, it's hard to move, is so that I could <clears throat> literally maximize all of that vacuum just concentrated in this area. So once I've done that, I wanna go ahead in here. And this film actually has an adhesive top. So I'm gonna take this off very gently, roll this off. And now when I print, I'm literally printing onto the glue. Getting ready to print uh, $1.23 worth of ink on this. The, the price uh, for our customers when they buy the A and B sheets for the DT, DTF for the UV, $3.69 and each set. That would be the A and the B. So $3.69 plus $1.23, we're just under $5 total for this entire page. You'll see what this is going to do. It's actually going to lay down the white, the color, and then come back and put a clear over, overcoat on it. It's a gloss overcoat, so it's going to have a nice shiny finish. All right, looks like it's finished. Here we go. As you can see, I don't know if you can see on there real well, but you can see there's a nice gloss right just over the area where it's printed. All right. Load this in here. Here we go, we've got this laminated with the, the laminator. I've cut out one of the designs. And the reason we're doing this onto the laptop is twofold. Number one, if I had to do a bunch of these laptops, I could print a lot more pages than I can because I can bunch these up. So I can maybe get two, three laptops in the machine, whereas I can get two full sheets in the machine. And we could probably, if we had three she two sheets, we could probably print in the area of six or seven of these at a time. So say you get 10 in the machine even, as opposed to two at a time in there. Secondarily, this is like an anodized aluminum, which can be very difficult to adhere to. And thirdly, you may not notice it, there's actually a little ramp, a little lip up here that would set our print head <coughs> at, at a deeper, at a higher height, which would make it hard to get that quality of a print. And now I'm gonna blame Hannah for this. Didn't think about the fact this is a dark colored layout. Laptop, we should probably have printed the uh, text in white, but that's all right. It'll give us a good idea what we're doing. So we'll go, go ahead and get this turned over. I'm going to start peeling. This, by the way, is the first time. This is the largest transfer we've tried to do with this. As you can see, if you're looking at this, there's actually adhesive on the back. Then there's white, and then there's color, and then there's a clear layer. You'll be able to see the clear layer pretty well when you get that. Okay, got that out of the way. Now comes the fun part. Because Hannah's making me do the largest transfer I've ever done. All right. Now we're gonna have to come around here and do it from the front. All right. So we lay this down. I'm just going to slowly start to work this down. All right, there we have it. The new Cold SE UV printers logo. And we've transferred it onto here. Uh, again, anodized aluminum, not something that's easy to stick to. And we got pretty good adhesion right here. It's crazy how good this is. And it'll just get better over the next couple days. Um, trying to figure out the cost. We had $3.69 into the entire page. 
and there was a dollar twenty-three worth of ink, which would put us just under five dollars for the entire page. Could have gotten four of these on the page, so let's say a dollar and a quarter total for this. That's for the ink and the transfer media, the A and the B, and uh, got a really cool finish on something we wouldn't have otherwise been able to get a good adhesion to. So it's another way to use your uh, your UV printers. In this case, we used a six hundred, I mean six sixty-one uh, UF from Muto, and our direct to film for UV kit, which includes the A and B and the laminator. Pretty cool looking transfer there.